Hey everyone, here I'm doing exercise 3.7, 11th question, and uh, this is playing with playing with number chapter of class six, and this is the last question of this exercise. The question is, find LCM of the following numbers in which one number is a factor of other, and they have given four different question, and they have also given that what do you observe in the result obtained. So first we're going to find out the LCM, and uh, and we'll see uh, what is our conclusion here. So the first question. So I'm going to find the LCM by division method. But I'm going to divide the numbers with a prime number. So we're going to divide the number together with a prime number. So you should take a number here like 5 and 20. Let's start dividing here with uh, prime numbers. So the smallest prime number is 2. So I'm going to go in ascending order. Like first check in 2 and then 3 then 5 and so on like that. So 20 goes in 2 table right. So here 5, 2, 10s are 20. Now this number 5 and 10 like uh, the together don't go in 2 table but 10 can be divisible by 2. So 5 will be same in the next step. So 2 5s are 10. Now we got 5 here. Uh, 5 1s are 5 and 5 1s are 5. Now LCM will be 2 2s are 4. 4 5s are 20. Whatever prime factors we got, prime numbers we got, we have to just multiply. So LCM is equal to 20. Now the second question. In the second one we have 6 and 18. So we're going to divide 6 and 18 in the same method. How we, how we have done for the first question the same way. So 6 and 18. I'm going to start with 2. 6 and 18 both goes in 2 table. 2 3s are 6. 2 9s are 18. Now 3 and 9 doesn't go in 2 table uh, like together they go in 3 table but so 3 1s are 3 and 3 3s three are 9. Last we have only 1 3 so 3 1s are 3. Now LCM will be multiply the prime numbers so 2 3s are 6, 6 3s are 18. Now the next question is 12 and 48. So here we have 12 and 48. So I'm going to start with 2. 2 6 are 12 and then 2 24 is 48. They both again go in 2 tables. So 2 3 is 6 and then 2 12 is 24. 12 goes in 2 tables. So I have to keep on doing till it goes in 2 tables. At least one number goes in 2 tables. Uh, and then you can shift to the next prime number which is 3. So we have 3 and then 2 6 is 12. Again 6 is there so it goes in 2 tables so 2 3 is a 6. Now we have a 3 at the end so 3 goes in 3 table 3 1s are 3 and then 3 1s are 3. So LCM will be multiply this number 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 16 3 is a 48. So we got 48 here. Now the last one is 9 and 45. It is last question. So 9 and 45. Now 9 and 45, they don't go in two table. It, it neither of one number doesn't go in two table, right? So I'm going to go with 3. So 3, 3 is a 9. And then 45 goes in three tables. So 3, 15 is a 45. Again, they both go in 3. So 3, 1 is a 3. And then 3, 5 is a 15. Now 5 is left. So 5, 1 is a 5. So LCM will be 3 3 is a 9, 9 5 is a 45. So LCM is equal to 45. Now we have got the LCM of all the questions. Now let us read the question once again. What they have given, find the LCM in which one number is a factor of other. So you can see 5 is a factor of 20. Right? 20 cannot be a factor. Factors means we can divide that number or um, that number goes in that table like 20 goes in 5 table so 5 is a factor like that and 6 is a factor of 18 12 is a factor of 48 9 is a factor of 45 because 45 goes in 9 table so 9 will become factors i have i guess you, you have learned how to find out the factors factors are nothing but uh, in which all table the numbers go so by which all number that number is divisible we can completely divide it those will be the factors so in this given set of question, one is a factor of other and if you observe the LCM, we got LCM here 20 and 20 is the highest number. If you see 5 and 20, 20 is the greatest number and we got the LCM 20. Here we got LCM 18 and if you see 6 and 18, 18 is the greatest one. 
the bigger number the larger number similarly lcm of the third question is 48 and 40 is a greater number and here also 45 so this will be the conclusion here so in each case the lcm of the given number is a large number larger number that's it and when the number is a factor this is only applicable if one number is a factor of other so if they have given any question where one number is a factor of an other the lcm will be the larger number so you don't have to do the lcm you can just take the number which is larger and then you can um, directly write down the answer i hope this question is clear in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching